Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Oh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. I want to talk to you a little bit about the episode we had yesterday, catching all those trout here in Pensacola, and what we were using. All right, first thing I had going for me was this right here. This is the Rage Swimmer. Now, why do I like this soft plastic? Why am I gravitating so much to this? It's this giant paddle tail. Okay, this thing is moving a lot more water than a normal paddle tail, especially when I've got folks that new fishermen, people that just fish a little bit. This thing is so versatile, as well as for people who fish a whole lot. Okay, I can rip this thing up and let it fall, and when it falls, it wobbles dramatically. I can also, with a striking 1 8 ounce jig head, a relatively light jig head, I can run it across the middle water column at just a steady pace, which makes it easy for any angler. Just a steady retrieve and that tail, wah, 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 wah. The tail is doing all the work for you. So just a steady retrieve will produce a lot of bites for a lot of species of fish. Also lifting up and letting it fall straight down, you get a lot of hits on the downfall with that dramatic tail wobble. Another thing you can do with this guy because it grabs so much water with that big tail is you can troll. So when guiding folks and we just want to cover some water or maybe cut across the sound, we can throw this thing and just troll it behind the boat and it just it just wobbles and we're getting waxed from big blue fish and trout and all kind of crazy stuff, Spanish even. So the Strike King Ray Swimmer has been a super versatile bait for me Taking folks fishing this summer, this is actually the 4.75. We are using the 3.75. It's just slightly bigger than your average paddle tail. I think it attracts a little bit bigger bite because it's got more meat to it, but it's not too big to where you're not catching just everything under the sun. They make them bigger. I might bring these to the Keys. All right, so what was that junk I was squirting on them? Poke here, Super Jail. Here, I'll take one out of the bottle. I ordered two bottles because I was so impressed with it. My buddy Nathan gave him his old bottle. I've been using the Procure salt water, just kind of general salt water, and I haven't had any luck, so I gave up on Procure. Nathan threw me a bottle of this stuff. Oh, man. First squirt, wham. Gaff top, trout. I could tell there were so many species keying in on the scent, especially the catfish and stuff, that I knew it was doing damage. And then we proceeded to catch all the fish you saw on this video and this guy. So you just pop the top and you just squirt and just lather that stuff on there. You don't have to put a whole lot and it stays on for probably 15, 20 casts. If the fish are on fire, you don't need anything. But if it's winter time and dead cold and you need to take it up a notch, if it was a full moon the night before and the bite's off, if the tide's not moving and they just ain't eating, so there you go. The three things that were really making it happen for me on this last episode was the Strike King 1 8 ounce jig head, the 3.75 Rage Swimmer, and Procure Super Gel. Don't forget to come join us over at 30 Mile Out Patreon. I'm posting stuff all day. Videos, tips, tricks, giveaways. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Line Cutters after the episode. What?